Well, good evening, everyone. Lovely to be back at Jess Arabian Ranches. Uh, speaking about a subject that has uh, been an elusive subject that mankind has been fascinated with since the history of humankind, the pursuit of happiness. Now, in, in all these places, I was devoid of all material possessions, all creature comforts, um, in usually the most inhospitable terrain, usually in agony, from the pain of cold, or the pain of fatigue, or the pain of sleep deprivation. And the one thing that I had on these trips was something we don't have much in our day-to-day -day lives, and that's called time. Time to think. And because there's not much else to do on these polar trips, you've, you can look at ice or you can look at sky. What makes you happy may be completely different to what you makes you happy and whatever makes you happy. We all have our own DNA, our own attributes, the things that motivate us, the things that energize us, the things that make us happy, that make us sad, that drive us and make us inspired. You know, everyone in our cluttered world and our mind, mental fatigue driven world, we're all looking for some sort of purpose and some goals in our life. And I've worked with people who've been out of jobs, who've had uh, relationship breakdowns, who are lost. But once you get people into setting goals, something changes. Something changes with one slight provision, which I'll come to at the end. But something changes, it gets you into action, and it gives you a purpose in life. People who look back to the past, people who live in the present, people in the future. And what they found is people who live in the past are the least happy of all peoples. The least happy. It is my greatest challenge, and it is only going back to my trip sometimes when I'm crossing the desert or the poles or whatever, or going climbing in the mountains of Oman or the Emirates, that I actually do sometimes get in the present and really savor it and be grateful for what we have. At the end of the day, the buck stops with you. And if things aren't right, if things are not going right and you're not happy, no one's going to solve it about, apart from yourself. And it's up to you to get into action and change it. So if relationships is for you, in your values, a key thing for creating happiness, and you find you haven't got many friends or you're not being invited, really you've got to do something about it. Whatever that takes, go out and search it because we create our own lives. Using these tools of getting into action, getting in touch with your values and setting goals, and that sort of uh, final sort of quote that is up to me to sort it out, I don't last there long. I don't last there long. I usually pick myself up above it and get back into action and enjoying the life.